is happening guys? We are Craig and Amy and you are watching King and Nerds! And welcome to our next adventure. We have taken some mad vehicles to some brilliant parts of the world and through traveling in all sorts of transport, we always say that our favorite kind of trips are road trips. We are in control, we decide where to go and when to stop. Since the road trips began, we've always dreamed of buying our very own adventure wagon turning it into everything we would need to keep us clean, fed and cosy on the road and drive wherever our path would take us. After years of dreaming, we have finally found our dream machine. Welcome to Custard the Bus! But she hasn't always been this good looking. After unexpectedly winning her on eBay, <laughs> Custard was delivered to us, but she had a few surprises up her sleeve. I just found a lovely little surprise. Oh, it's a big hole in the bus. Right, I was rusted on me. It yeah. failed, still too. Oh, God, you um, that. We just spent under six weeks transforming her into a catwalk supermodel. We ripped out, welded, painted, hammered, grinded, and glued for 14 hours a day to make this dream a reality. We had never done anything like this before in our lives and between us we couldn't hang a picture. But with the help of our friends and family, we transformed this old bus into the perfect tiny home for the road. After finishing the final touches and packing at midnight, we were almost ready for our next adventure. Custard is going to be the creamiest biscuit on the black tarmacs of Europe. For this adventure, we will be jumping on the Eurotunnel Le Shuttle and heading to France down to Bordeaux on the west coast and then to the southeast through the beautiful Dordogne. From there we will drive through Italy and make our way to Switzerland, over the Swiss mountains, into some German mountains, through Germany and onto the Netherlands. Our final stop will be Belgium. We will be finding you the most exciting things you could possibly do on a European road trip. <laughs> Loads of wine here, it's mental. This is so much fun. Absolutely sensational. And on the way, showing you what it's like to live the van life on the road. It's time for, it's a winner. Oh, oh, don't mind us lads, we're just filling our toilet up in our sink. Breakfast for the boys. Put that tongue away. You know, having to fill it with water, keep the place clean, do the dishes, like, it's non-stop man, it's like running a house. Ready? Yes. Oh jeez, oh, oh god. There's gonna be more adrenaline. More exploring. More mishaps. It's not turning on. <laughs> more food. Do you like my baguette? Talk about a massive survey. <laughs> oh yeah. More oh, views. And just loads of fun. Yes! <laughs> Look how clean the floor is. <laughs> and this is the reason why road trips are our favourite. If this trip doesn't inspire you to come to Europe, then I don't know what will. Custard basket! <laughs> Yay! We're officially on Tommy. So we got about 200 miles to drive to get to the Euro Tunnel. This is the maiden voyage though. This is our first proper drive. Yeah. We haven't even slept in the bed yet. We haven't even got a breakdown cover, so pray for us. For the Euro Tunnel, please. So cool, though, anyway, I always forget how easy it is. You literally pull up and they're just like Craig Holmes. It just scans your number plate and they know who you they are. They know who you are. They know who custard is. That's what it is. I think they just know who I am. I think they, I'm just known around these parts. <laughs> I was explaining it to my friend the other day because he didn't know what it was. He said, What's the Euro Tunnel? I was like, You go on a train that goes under the ocean from England to France. And he was like, No way. And I was like, Yes, mate, it's true. Don't tell people that we watched um, a documentary on it last time we were actually on it though, because that's real geeky. Yeah, we didn't watch one. No. Definitely no, not. No. I'm excited though, it's a Friday, you know, everyone's like, thank God it's Friday. There's a good buzz around here. There's like 
football teams getting on and loads of families with their camper vans and stuff. Everyone's just ready for a road trip today. So this is the moment that um, David and Philippe met in the middle of the Eurotunnel and swapped flags. How cool is that though? Uh, so t tell them, like obviously... I don't know if that's their real names. They drilled the two holes, one from France and from, one from the UK, and then they like knocked the hole through and then... They were like, shook hands. Hands. how, how good mental is that? Is that? Though, I know. I love that picture. It's so cool. It's a keeper, isn't it? Do you know which way it is? Do you know which way to, we, we go to get on? <laughs> Big sign there that says France. <laughs> I can't believe Creston's going to fit on this. <laughs> I know. It's her first experience. The front feeds! Yay! And just like that, that France. Hello or bonjour, as they say in France. We've rocked up and there's like an RV park up, um, and literally. It's just all white RVs, or like super slick RVs and the big yellow bus in the middle. <laughs> meep meep! Because <laughs> they're just chilling and laughs at me lads. Oh, I do feel like part of a crew though, like a proper little community I think. We're in the caravan gang, are we? The caravan gang. Caravan gang. <laughs> Kettles on. Buzz of the state. <laughs> We've been so rushed, we haven't even had a chance to unpack everything properly, have we? I'm so tired. We haven't used it. We haven't used it yet. Tonight is our first night. Yeah, man. And we've worked so hard on this bus. We literally got it done at 11 o'clock last night. So today's our first first day in it, which has been awesome. And I just can't wait to get to bed, Craig. Cup of joe first and sandwiches for the lads, is it? I drive you all the way to France and now I'm making you tea and dinner. You're a lucky sod, didn't you? Okay, so before we go to bed, we forgot to prepare our toilet. So we've got this little porta potty, which is currently in two. They need to put like toilet fluid in it and water, so they like layers the bottom. Otherwise, you just get poo going straight to the bottom. Do you know oh, what I mean? I was wondering if you were going to say that then or not. Thanks for that. Nah, only number only number ones. Unless you're desperate, Unless it's, you're gonna two. poo yourself. You know what? Huh? The other really cool thing is when when you use the water pump, all the lights start flashing. <laughs> If you've got epilepsy, we won't ask you around for dinner. Oh, oh, don't mind us lads, we're just filling our toilet up in our sink next to all of our freshly prepared fruit and vegetables. That's about two and... Oh, wait. Oh. All over me bread, man. I feel like it's about two o'clock in the morning, like, will you hurry up? I'm so tired. Directions for you. <laughs> 200 mil. Okay. Alright, excuse me then. Morning, lads. So, uh first night in the van last night and the bed was super comfortable but the only problem is we got a leak where we put the fan in so uh, somebody didn't seal the roof properly that was me um, so this is the reality of the van um, Captain B has brought everything she owns no I haven't and she's trying to get it under the no. thing I said bring your suitcase and dump everything under the bed and then we'll organise it later on she just brought the whole suitcase. How many suitcases did you bring? Four Not suitcases. You are ridiculous. They're like hand luggage ones. They're small. <laughs> <laughs> Le Duque is a lush little seaside town in the north of France, known for its huge beach, sand dunes and nightlife. Walking around, we were loving the cute little buildings, the boutique shops, and of course, the ice cream. The streets and architecture here are glorious and as you can see by my face, I was pretty happy to be in France. Do you like my baguette? <laughs> Welcome to La Turkey, Craig. La Turkey. <laughs> I still don't know how you say it. But I'm excited to be here, it's beautiful isn't it? I think this is the place where the French people come to go on holiday. Oh uh, yeah, we've had a little wander on the beach. My baguette's gonna smack your sorbet out of your hand right now like we <laughs> Control your baguette, will you? <laughs> so this is a beautiful little city. 
Um, it's got a massive beach. Yeah, it's literally like an hour from Calais as well. So we got off the Eurotunnel and we parked in a um, little campsite because we're still a bit unsure of where we're allowed to park <laughs> the massive custard bus that we're driving. So we took a walk into town. We need the exercise anyway to burn off this ice cream. Yeah, we do. So if you're wondering who this is with me, no, it's not another chick that I've picked up. <laughs> this is Amy B. She just got herself a new little weed, hasn't she? <laughs> we have to remortgage the bus to get you another one. Oh, my hair's just rubbish. You will see my hair on this trip because it's absolutely boiling. <laughs> but uh, I just like it, you know, play it messing around. You can be a different character every day. It's good for you, Craig. Maybe I should get one. You've got a couple of chicks on the go. <laughs> Today, my name is Victoria. <laughs> we got to pick up a few things and we found a little shop, so... Uh, I can't ask you if it looks good and then you laugh in my face, Craig. It's essential, isn't it? Yes, this will be good fun. The hat? Mm. Are you taking me to play bamboo on the beach? No, we're going to go squeegee in. Go <laughs> squeegee for the shower in the pound store. <laughs> found ourselves in a vegan restaurant. It's not it is vegan food. Tuk tuk, let tuk tuk. Something like that. It's on the beachfront. It looks insane. Look at Craig's food. We are lucky we're sharing that fella. Yeah, put it back. So welcome back to Custard the Bus. Um, Our babe. It's great, oh. isn't it? You remember we had that little deal? What was the deal? The first one to do a little in the toilet, that's the changer. So that day has come because the toilet's full. I don't even think I'm going to be able to lift it, Craig. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh. oh, I think it smashed me in the eye, Craig. Oh, oh my God. Get a good lip. Oh my god. I'm not <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, oh god. I'm fine. Just before we left, our door decided to stop working. So uh, this is what happens when we get to toll rolls. So the door closes, but it doesn't open. So Amy's got to pull the door open every time. Okay, get in. We set off in the direction of Etretat through a mixture of country roads and highways. I was trying to get used to driving on the wrong side of the road and the size and the weight of custard. On the way we saw a few cows, a lot of cornfields and loads of hay bales. For anybody who's worried about driving in France or Europe in general, it's absolutely fine. It was just a treat being on the open road and in our new home. We ended up at a campsite close to the main town in Etretat and after a quick breakfast we headed in to explore. So we're on our way to the famous arch in Etretat. That's, you know what it's called? That sounds wonderful, but the weather gods, have a word with yourself, killed me here this morning and I'm waiting for it to buck it down. She was giving me all the excuses in the world this morning not to get out. I was like, we're going. I was like, there's a car park there, but the only problem is we don't have a car. So we're at a campsite about half an hour walk from the town, but this town is amazing. The houses walking in. Yeah. It's like Beauty and the Beast, mate. So stunning. We, we must be staying on like Millionaire's Row, Row or something. I'm telling you, they're bloody gorgeous. And now we're walking through the cute town and every Oh, the train! The train's going, Craig! <laughs> so there's a little train we saw, but they Anything weren't going. Anything such a car walk. No, that's not a walk. No, that's not the reason why I want to go on it at all. All right, let's see if... Oh, it's full. Sorry, yeah, mate. There'll be another one. We can wait. We'll get coffee somewhere real cute. Despite Amy bringing four suitcases, she didn't actually bring a raincoat. So we're on the lookout for one now. I think I found a winner for you, Amy. What about this one? <laughs> that heightens the chances of me being taken by a clown. <laughs> Apparently from this beach, wow, wow. When it's a clear day, you can see the cliffs of Dover from this beach, but you can see the arch from here. It looks incredible. Wow, that's amazing. So after 45 minutes of trying to convince Amy, we're going to walk to the top 
The train doesn't really take you that far, so we're, we're gonna walk and check out the other arch. She can't wait, look at her. <laughs> Oh, that settles it then, Craig. It's actually really dangerous to talk up there, so um, I'm just gonna... To the top we go! Every time. <laughs> Hold on to your weave, girl! <laughs> Whoa! Totally worth a climb, lads. Whoa! come up here is wearing hiking pants and proper trainers they got the gear some people have even got sticks I'm in a pair of jeans and platforms but uh although I hate to admit it and I know Craig's gonna see this it's definitely worth the little hike <laughs> totally beautiful and on our doorstep really I want to go get a drink somewhere like a cute cute little French drink you know uh -huh. <laughs> One massive coffee one, please. May I see, babes? So we found this little gem, which is eight euros a night. There is electricity, but there's only two ports. But well, we managed to get one, didn't we? Yeah. So if you've got a big RV or a big van, there's an awesome app called Park for Night. So you can find places to park. Some of them are free, some of them you pay, but it's got all the prices and stuff like that on there. So back to Custard. Yeah, she is, all plugged in. What a girl, eh? Let me in, I'm boiling. We did it lads, we made it to France. After having a dream of converting an old bus into the ultimate adventure wagon, we were on the road trip of a lifetime. Next time on King and It, we will be exploring a famous mont, bumping into an elephant on the street and showing you more real life bus happenings. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you press subscribe for more of our European adventures.